this is so this is how I just clean records, I guess. Although records might already work, they, they never are completely clean. I, I always found that improving the sound quality on a record, I, I personally just use it using this, this cloth thingy that I sewed, but you can also just use a washcloth. However, it does get pretty dirty after some time, and Windex with the top screwed on backwards. So, so, so before the, the record sounds something like this, however, if I wanted to like make the sound quality better, I haven't done this record before, but I've done the other side. I normally put one there, one there, and one there. Uh, and then I use this thingy, which which might also be your washcloth, depending if you have some a sewing machine or not. You, however, if you use a washcloth, you 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 must you must uh you, you got to get a soft one. And and you always got to make sure that there's no like white lumps of Windex. You got to spread it out in a circular motion. If if you go like that. It'll, it'll, it, it won't get all the dirt out. So, so I just go in circles like this for the better sound quality. And these things do get pretty dirty. When you got almost 100 year old records that haven't been cleaned in 100 years. It normally takes a while if, if you want the record to be like pitch perfect, if I had to explain it. But then after that, let me make sure that there's no dirt on the needle. No dirt on the needle, just like before. This is the difference. But I can definitely hear more of the instrumental section than before. And slightly less, less muffled. And that's mm. how you clean a record by a fifth grader. Well, 